We're back in the Bee Bad Lounge with Dave Radford. Hi Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Paul. Um, fighting for a title tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, feel good because this is the first one that's been around for many yeah. years. That's that's a good thing about it. Is, is there's not many title available really, um, so it's great to fight anyway in the bare knuckle scene. But having a title to fight for, then you're going to get somebody to challenge you for that. So you're going to have this more often, like so I'm so, really yeah. tough. Yeah. So you'll, if obviously if you win the belt, you're, even if you don't, you'll still be coming back to the Be Bad show? 26 years I've been in fight games, so really? I'm, going to be, I'm going to be there a long time anyway. So is it been my all bare knuckle? You've been no, no, I've done uh, professional boxing, I'm number nine in country. I fought Roberto Duran in South Africa, I uh, lost some points. Uh, I had a bad accident which retired me from the boxing, so I went into cage fighting. Um, I fought Michael Bisping in cage, that's another big famous name. Really? Um, then I ended up... Unlike the, in the unlicensed boxing, I've just five weeks back done three rounds in Isaac Ben in unlicensed boxing match. Uh, and the last one, two weeks back, we on a duel with Tyson. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the fight game, you know, pretty regular. So, so I, I mean, how do you find the difference in training for that like, um, bare knuckle to say MMA? Um, it's, it's, I, what I do, I just um, I do it with everything, you know, I'm good at gym and we have some really really gruesome sessions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really knees, elbows, head butts. We do everything in a good good session. Um, and we, we're best of, best of guys, you know what I mean? Best of friends, but um, the training wise for this fight, what I'm done tonight is just same as any other training session I do. Yeah. So it's like, what would you say you train like a boxer would for bare knuckle? Yeah, I, I train like a boxer, mainly me fitness wise and um, you know, just, just a straight stand up, that's that's what I do. And yeah. what do you think about Andy Topless and B Bad? Obviously, it's a landmark tonight, like yeah. this event yeah. going off. Um, well, I've only, I've only met Andy once, but I've spoken lots of times on the phone to him. Whatever he's promised me, it's, it's been there for me, and it's, it's great, you know what I mean? He's a good man, so it's great to have people in this game knocking about, you know, you can ring and rely on and trust. Yeah. Uh, the thing I, I will say, uh, yeah, it's a brutal game, but. Um, I've never, in the bare knuckle scene which I've been, I've had a few bare knuckle fights, you come across some gentlemen at yeah. these games, you know what I mean, yeah. at, at these sports, you know what I mean, I, and I just think, everybody thinks, yeah, it's brutal and everything, but when, when all those drink some bowls, you know what yeah. I mean, yeah. and good handshake, and that's, that's it, over and done with. I've never seen any bad animosity against people, you no. know what I mean, everything's been sound. So would great. you say out of like, boxing, MMA and bare knuckle, this, more, this is probably the more respectable one or you, all, all the same sort of thing? Yeah, I mean you get, the thing I've seen is in boxing, people disagree, ah, he's lost and you know, and he's, yeah, he's won and things like this and, and you don't get out in cages like that, but, but with this what I've seen, I've never seen anything kick off and you put a man down and he gets back up or the referee stops it and, and like, to me it's, it's stopped, but yet yeah, everyone seems to shake hands and, and respect because it, it's a man's game, you know, yeah. it's, it's a man's game and it takes a man to get in there and do No matter, I'm going to fight that title tonight. I'll be honest with you, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I'll still go on happy, happy cause as long as I've enjoyed it. Yeah. That's, that's why I do it for the enjoyment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you fought Michael Bisping in MMA. That's quite a big achievement yeah. in the MMA yeah. side. Yeah, I did. I lost, but I only went, I only went there to watch, you know, and this, right. and I went to watch and the, this guy pulled out and ended up saying, well, I'll fight him. I'd done a bit of training, for enough. I'd done a bit of training on the floor and everything. I went and, and fought him, uh, I lost him. And then, I, then I got him with another guy called Norman Parrier, who was a very big name in, in the cage. And uh, I jumped in with him. I jumped in with a guy called Ian Rush, short notice, as I say. Funny, I, I've took a lot of my fights on very short notice. I was going to yeah. watch and ended up jumping in. And uh, the guy was saying, dressing room, kicking him. And I just said, what's the matter with you? He says, my opponent's not turned up. I said, what do you weigh? He says, 14, so on. I says, well, I'll fight. And I generally meant I'll give him a fight, you know what I mean? Just to, I felt sorry for the guy, because I've been in the fight and locked him up. Yeah. And I jumped in and uh, gave me, he hammered me for quite a few, five, ten minutes, and I turned him over and I, I just beat him, like, you know what I mean? It was, it, you know, it was a great achievement, it was grand. So I enjoy it. Do you work as well? Because obviously no, there's no do. money in the uh, fight. I do work, uh, you know, I'm a professional boxer, and since I was 17, 16, I started work. And my trainers always said if I were an idle man, I'd, I was number nine in country, you know, I'd been top ten. If I were an idle man, I'd have been somewhere yeah. because my work 
I've got kids and I always bring my money home for my kids. You know, I've worked on grand country, I work hard. And um, that's the only thing that stopped me. Cause I, was, I, I used to be out of the house. Uh, I'd, I'd sit off in the morning at half past five. Do, do a, I used to do a four, a six, an eight, and a four mile run each week. Then I go to work, come home, and get picked up on a roundabout, 10 mile away from my house to take me to Leeds uh, to do all my sparring training back in. So I'd back it out at 10 o'clock and sleep, then up again at five in the morning. Oh. And, and if I'd have been an idle person, didn't work and do anything, and spent all my time dedicated to boxing, yeah. I could have gone somewhere like yeah. really. So have you been working on your cardio for this fight a lot? Or? I'm going to be honest with you, I've not, because I, I've been to, um, I fought Nigel Ben uh, on this online boxing. Then two weeks later, I fought this other guy, a scouser, I can't remember his name. I, I fought that many, I forget the names, I don't know the lad well. Um, and then, so, and what it is, I've been working in Skegness away from home so yeah. there's no gym or anything i can't run because i've done the crucial mini in a cage fight so all i've done to be honest with you is kept off beer for a week yeah. and that's all and but I've, I've, i mean we'll laugh about that but i've done that most of my fights yeah so um so you're a natural fighter obviously. yeah and i've got a good i've got a good 10 minutes in me and yeah. I, I believe a good bare knuckle fight should be more than 10 minutes because yeah. these guys who, who are weak and mess about for an hour and a half and they come out with a busted nose or a black eye that the, you know, a good bare knuckle fight shouldn't last more than 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, a guy hitting a man very hard, if he's hit me that as hard I'm going to hit him, I wouldn't think I'd be able to last 10 minutes. You know, your knuckles, your, your cheekbones, anything, what, you know, it's, it takes its toll after 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How do you, you, obviously, if you're doing bare knuckle, you probably spar with gloves. Is All the time, yeah. Yeah, if so was, yeah. Any, any man, it's not, there's no difference to sparring with gloves and without gloves in a way. It, it's kind of, Funny explain that because when you when you're boxing, uh, yeah, it hurts with, with with gloves and it hurts without gloves because it's your adrenaline takes over. Yeah, yeah. So I could be fighting with gloves, I could be fighting without gloves. It's you, your man himself. And the thing with what I've got, which is my best weapon, is, is that my heart. And yeah. I'm a I'm a survivor in the. So, I mean, I might go out there and get knocked out, but um, I have got I've got a bit of heart. Like I mean, I do. I can take some fist like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, how long do you plan to stay around for, Dave? Because you've obviously been around a long time now. Well, um, something inside you just, it is, you just you, got to keep yeah. going. Uh, when I retire, um, as I say, I've got to give everything up. I've got to give me, that's where the damage comes in with me, is my spine. I do get uh, my, my nose smashed and my, my eyes, uh, cheekbones do get fractured. And they take weeks to heal. And, and I, go, I keep going back in all the time. Yeah. And, and I just think to myself, well, you know, um, got, my missus plays at me and I've got rock knuckles, if in this still rock from last knuckle fight I had. And it doesn't matter to me, I don't heal. I never go to the doctor, I do my own stitching, I've got my stitches yeah. out there. I'll, if I get cut tonight, I'll be stitching myself up, you know what I mean? And that's, that's how it is. I'm not, I'm not, what they call him, John Rambo or anything like that. What it is, is I, just, I don't go to doctors and complain or anything like that. You know, I just, no. that's me, that's me being yeah. me, like, that's, that's truthful. I've got a book coming out, um, and it's called The Beast. Uh, they've titled it The Beast, and it's, I think it's January it's coming out. And it's got everything in there about, you, you'll see that all this I do in there tonight, I do, I, I turn it on, I, I get nasty with it, but uh, there's not, any, anything what anybody says to you all about me, it'll always, be, always say, that man's a gentleman. And that's, and that's what it is. Uh, it's just, just some, a silly thing what we do. You know what I mean, it is, it's a silly thing. Dave, you've certainly been a gentleman to us. Thank you very much. Um, good luck tonight. Yeah. And we'll see you yeah. in the, uh, what is it, a rip? It's not a rip, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, I like to, if I'm fighting, I like to fight in a telephone box. You know what I mean? But it, it's a bit, uh, I, don't, I don't think the referee's going to be on the inside. He's got to stay on the outside, I think. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good fight, mate. And thank you so much. Good man. Cheers.